Yo YouTube, what's going on? Back with another video, a new pickup. You guys saw my last unboxing video, you know what these are. Picked up a pair of Balenciagas, my first high-end sneaker. Um, I've never paid this much uh, retail for any sneaker. <laughs> um, except the highest ever paid retail was the Yeezy Boost at 350 plus tax. Um, obviously it was the Yeezy, obviously I was going to do that. For these, it was a little bit tough to even pull the trigger. But I sold um, all my Yeezys, so I had the money, and I really liked the shoe. I wanted to try it out, and I know that, you know, even if I don't like it, I can always return it, and say I like it, and then later on decide I don't like it. I could still say I like it now, I wear it, and then later on I decide, nah, it wasn't even worth the money. I could sell them and get, you know, most if most of my money back. Not all, but most of it back, which is always good, you know what I mean? So, let's jump into it. First off, I want to start off with... What came here, uh, the receipt right here. In this envelope, I'll put the envelope, it says Balenciaga on it, and inside has the receipt. I'm just going to cover up my address. Um, you guys saw this in the unboxing video. I'm just going to go over it again. Just cover up my address, but yeah. Um, Balenciaga, code, color. I went down to a size 43. I am a true size 10 and a half, 11. Um, and I went down to a 43. I heard they fit big and they really do. Um, price was 585 and it says right there does not include sales tax. So retail at 585. I paid 585 um, plus tax for them. Let's jump into it. Um, before I get to the box, I want to show you guys, you guys saw the unboxing video, but this paper was wrapped all around the box and I think that's so sick. Um, I wish I, you know, obviously I didn't want to do, I mean, you guys saw my unboxing video. I told you I didn't want to open it. Obviously, I was going to, but it was so nicely, nicely done. I didn't want to open it. And also, um, the shoes, I took them out for now. I'll put them back in the box. Each shoe came wrapped in clear paper. Clear plastic paper. So let's get into the box. We've got a white box, Balenciaga in black on the box. Real basic box. Um, we've got the, some numbers right there on the code right there as well as the label and you can see arena and nor maybe i'm saying it wrong and then e is i guess european size 43 so the all black colorway of the balenciaga and the lambskin model um, i'll take out the shoes first we'll start off here with the dust bag a uh, very simple dust bag very light dust bag very kind of not thin but you know, very, uh, very light, little dust bag, um, Balenciaga in black, very minimalistic on the dust bag, two pull strings, one on each side, and that's it for the dust bag, I'm not really going to be using the dust bag, I don't really put my shoes in dust bags, even when they come with them, but nice little touch, and then the paper inside, they were wrapped really nicely, um, the way that they did that, I think it's very nice detailing, so let's get into the shoes themselves. Balenciaga Arena in the black lambskin leather. Very, very nice shoe, as you can see. Very classy, in my opinion. Um, you could wear these. You could dress them up, dress them down, whatever you want to do. Me, personally, I'll be doing both. I'll be rocking these to, like, weddings. I actually have a wedding to go to this week. I'll be rocking these. Um, and I'll also be wearing them casually. So, let's get to a review. We'll start here at the toe. The whole shoe is a lambskin leather, all black, very, very soft. You can see how soft that is. Um, I'm going to compare this to what I know, which is Nike and Jordans. They're not using this. That's more than obvious. I mean, it's night and day. You know what I mean? This is much more quality. And you're paying for that quality. You really are at that 585 price uh, price point there. The lace lock, lace jewel, instead of it being at top, it's on the bottom, which I really like. And it has this like kind of like bumps to it. It's in silver. The eyelets are also in that silver um, metal eyelets, and then the laces are thin wax laces. The whole tongue, very, very soft. That lambskin leather. See how soft that is and wrinkly it is. At the side, you got that lambskin upper, very, very soft, very wrinkly. Um, if you don't like that wrinkly look, 
I mean, what can I tell you? Get a different model. There are different materials used on the arena. Um, you know, you can get suede and some other materials. Very, very nice. Um, the midsole goes from like this rubber. It's all rubber, but it goes from like this rough into like glossy, um, shiny midsole there. The back, you got the pull tab in the back. And then the other side, more of that lambskin leather. See, it's much more crinkly on this side. And then that glossy midsole into the rubber. To the harder rubber. Um, inside, paper. Leave it in there for now. Um, Balenciaga. Paris on the insole. Real leather insole. Very, very soft. And the whole inner is that real leather. As well as behind the tongue. You got some numbers behind the tongue. Not sure what that means. All I know is what the 43 is. Obviously the size. Very, very soft. Very, very soft leather on the insole. Um, the whole entire inside sneaker. The sock liner as well as the insole. Very, very soft leather used here. The bottom. You got that traction. Um, nice herringbone traction with the Balenciaga in black. And you can see that glossiness here. As well as the bottom. Um, I'm going to be honest. Is it worth the price? I'm not sure yet. Um, that price, $585 plus tax, is very hefty. Quality is definitely there. You know, packaging is there as well. Is it worth $585 at retail? I'm not sure yet. Um, it's personal preference, to be honest. If you have the money to spare, go ahead if you really enjoy and like the shoe. If you have to save up for it and you want to try it out, you could do that. Order them online. Um, and you could always return them. You know what I mean? As long as you don't wear them, try them on. You don't like them how they look, return them. You need your money back for whatever reason, return them. You feel like they're not worth the money, return them. You know what I mean? Um, you're not going to be able to resell, at least not this colorway, um, to make money. You'll wind up losing money. But... There are some colors you'll make some money on um, if you're going to resell them. But the, the shoe is just, it's insane. The quality is there. The, the leather is there. You know what I mean? The packaging is there. Everything's there. Um, the price, like I said, is hefty. Would I spend it again? Um, yeah. As of right now, yes. I personally really enjoy the shoe. I've tried them on inside. Walked around inside. Haven't worn them out yet. Um, I just got them in today. But uh, I will soon. And trying them on size-wise, they do fit a whole size big. Um, I'm happy I went down to that 43. Um, I'm a true size 10 and a half, 11. More towards the 11. Um, even 10 and a half. In between. Uh, I could go either way. I'm just going to grab a pair of Jordans here. Uh, size 11 is a Euro, Euro 45. Okay, so a 10 would be a 44. And then the 9 would be a 43. These are actually a size 9. And they fit me like a 10 and a half, 11. That's just insane. And I still have room in them. I still have a little bit of room in the back. Which I'm good with. You know what I mean? I, want, I don't want them to be too tight. I want them to be a little bit roomy. But yeah, these are actually like a... There's a 43, which is equal to a 9. And they fit me like, like a 10 and a half, 11 would. Which I think is insane. Uh, sizing wise. <laughs> but definitely, if you can try them on. If not, go down sizes you know what i mean i'm a true 10 and a half 11 i went with a 43 it fits perfectly um maybe even a little bit bigger like a little bit extra room so sizing try to try them on that's the best i could tell you um i didn't try them on i never had a pair never tried them on but you know what i'm happy i went down with that 43 people online said go down go go to a 43 if you're a 10 and a half 11 go you know and i did i did and i'm happy i did very happy I did. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what you guys think about the Balenciagas. If you think this is worth the money or not. If you think any high-end shoe is worth the money or not. Um, if I can get these on sale, <laughs> I would in a heartbeat. Um, I'm actually going to go look. If I see if I can find any colors on sale. And if I can, I'll, I'll pick them up. Right now. You know what I mean? I'm ready to buy them. They're, they're insane. This shoe is just insane. I'm happy I got this old black colorway. Can't go wrong with an old black with... You know, some silver hits. You can't go wrong. And I'm going to wear this as a dress shoe as well. As um, casual. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give you guys some 360 looks. 
I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what you guys think. The back reminds me of an Air Force One, um, kind of, or a Jordan One. Look at it. I mean, it just looks kind of like a Jordan One to me. The back. Once you wear the Jordan One, minus this heel tab right here, obviously, it looks like the Jordan One to me. Um, on the back, with just like a classier. You know, upper as well as the mid, the outsole and midsole. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.